Boneless rack of lamb, pan seared, then roasted, then soaked in garlic butter and thyme, then rolled in spiced breadcrumbs just before serving. Chef Paul serves the lamb on a bed of farro, an ancient Roman grain that he cooks with some carrots, grape tomatoes, and sliced sugar snap peas. And instead of a sauce, a spiced pepper jam made with tomatoes, onions, sugar, lemons, and an assortment of flavorful spices. We've removed all the bones, cleaned off the fat cap, and we're just serving the rack. That looks good. Going right here. Great. And um, what else do we need for this recipe? Because we're going to be crusting it later, um, it's just salt and pepper. One thing you got to remember, dry, dry meat. Take off the moisture. It's yeah. imperative. You'll get a really good sear if you so just nice and dry. Oil in the pan, you know? You don't, exactly. You don't exactly. You see a so touch of salt and pepper in there. I'm going to uh, put a little oil in the pan just so we can get this going. There's the lamb. Nicely Perfect. seasoned. Thank you, thank you. Right in there, presentation side down. Of course. It's an important part about cooking meat is it has to rest. If you cut it, when all the fluids are moving in the muscle, all that flavor and juice and blood all is just gonna... All right, so uh, I'm gonna slip this right into the oven. The oven. This spice jam, what do we need for it? For the spice jam, we need, um, these are organic tomatoes that we've peeled and seeded. A little bit of sugar. Yeah. Um, some white onions sliced okay. thin. Then we have black pepper for the spice, and we're using telecherry black pepper here. All right. Um, there is allspice, okay. clove, lemon juice, and its zest. All right. And then we're gonna bring that up to a simmer and finish it with the pectin. Onion, we're pretty much gonna put everything in, with the exception of the parsley. Exactly, there you go. And the pectin will be last also. And the sugar? Yep. There you go, I think that's probably that's perfect right there, yeah. Right. Um, and then that's just gonna come over here, see all the juices that are starting to come out of there? Yeah. That's what's gonna get thick from the pectin. So we're just gonna let that just come up to a simmer. Smells great. So we got the lamb, the, the jam working, and next we probably need some vegetables and some stock. Here are the carrots that we picked of our crow's pass farm. Great. Um, boil them in salted water. Great. These are uh, heirloom baby tomatoes early in the season so far, and um, they did have the skin on them, but all I did is throw them into hot oil okay. and then onto ice. Then we have sugar snap peas that also came uh, local here. Um, and we just slice those up nice and thin too. I think we should check the lamb. It's probably uh, okay. probably just about there. Maybe, maybe give it a little quick base. There you go. Wow, wow. that looks good. Yep, it's Great. about perfect. We're looking for medium rare. So now what we're gonna do is turn the heat up on that. And if you could throw in a couple pats of butter. I love it. Crush the garlic and some fresh thyme. So I'm going to start sauteing these vegetables and get the farro together. OK, great. Um, I'm going to put a pat of butter in. I'm going to throw in some shallot. This lamb looks great. So nice bit of hazelnut colored butter. Put the garlic in. And a little bit of fresh thyme. That is going to give. Mm. This is local, I'm sure, yeah? Yes. Is it from? Oh, it is. It comes from uh, down in San Ysidro. Great. Then I'm just going to put so the farro the lamb, we're just going to baste it with this delicious thyme and garlic butter. Saute that. So, see if it's kind of sauteed everything together here. Okay. I'm just going to reheat it pretty much. We'll see so, I'm just going to leave that like that. You know what? <laughs> I come and do this, I really get put to work, huh? <laughs> so, okay. we'll leave the Everybody lamb works here. Okay, Perfect. great. We're going to make a little spice blend. Uh, and then we're at the very end, before we serve the lamb, we're just going to roll it quickly in that spice blend and then slice it and serve it. That looks pretty good. It's perfect. Great. Perfect. This is where the pectin it, it goes in. It's important that you sprinkle it on top, otherwise it'll clump. That's right. So it's going to add, uh, the pectin will set when it cools, of course. Um, so that looks about right. And we finish it with some parsley and chervil. All right. Just at the very end. And then once it cools, you're ready to go. Right. So let's take a look at our farro now. Again, this is very light, summery. Uh, it's nutritious. Yeah. And it's important to stay healthy. Yeah, and it's what people want. That's it's right. what our demographic, what our guests yeah. uh, are requesting. That's they, right. they want good, nutritious food. 